Today, all the freshest news from the elegant elephant extravaganza. That's what E3 stands for, right? This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint. I'm Kathleen. And I'm Graham, and I've just been informed that it's actually the Electronic Entertainment Expo, and according to this, I'm an idiot. And knowing is half the battle. The new Sims Facebook game, Sims Social, was revealed with a bizarre ad featuring a girl on Facebook describing her weirdly predatory date with the perfect guy. I'm having trouble here. Did she actually hang out with the guy? Is he even real? The ad starts with him having a real breakup, so we have to assume he is real. But does she just create him and have a sim date? Or is she having a date with his sim? Is this game just second life on Facebook? Or is it high level cyber stalking? Or is it meant to make us question the notion of the self? I'm on to you, EA. Ubisoft boasted during E3 that all future Tom Clancy games will be Kinect compatible. All Tom Clancy games? Even Splinter Cell? Because that? I can't do that. Crytek announced their newest game, Rise, spelled with a Y. We'd previously thought that whole crisis with a Y deal was a cute marketing thing they did, but it's now become apparent they actually have some sort of learning disability that affects their spelling, so we should probably stop making fun of them. You know what, Crytek? We love you as you are, and you can spell things with as many Ys as you want. Sony's Jack Tretton apologized to E3 for any anxiety the PSN outage might have caused its users. We were never really anxious about the outage. Maybe a little anxious about my credit card. More, more angry, really, though. He did also mention that this wasn't the first time he's come out onto the E3 stage with an elephant in the room. We don't recall the last time, but we're guessing it was when he somehow stumbled into Microsoft's Cirque du Soleil Kinect presentation from last year. For some E3 commentary, we go to Jeremy Petter. Jeremy, who would you say won E3 this year? Well, saying who won E3 is very difficult because everyone showed off some really impressive stuff. I, I mean, I think the winner is the gamers because we get to play all these great looking games. Ugh, fine. Who is the loser then? Oh, easy. This guy. For the last eight years, I've been Ubisoft's very own Mr. Caffeine. 97% of young people play video games. 40% of them are women. And 89% of them are smoking hot. Hey, want to come over and play my Wii? Hold my joy wand. Uh, Tom Clancy's Yeah, I'll take a smattering of applause. What the hell was that? That was the uh, man Ubisoft chose to run their press conference. They did that intentionally. I think Ubisoft may hate us. Do you think he could be weaponized? I believe he already has been. And now, the E3 press conference summary. Sony announced a new Uncharted game. Shocking. A new Resistance. Wow. And God of War in 3D. Yay. They also announced a new handheld with a weird name that actually looks kind of awesome. Nintendo announced a new game for every second franchise they have, and that they apparently want you to play games with an iPad for some reason. Finally, Microsoft revealed you'll be able to watch TV on your Xbox, and tried very hard to make a new verb by yelling the word Bing for an hour. Well, in conclusion, I think we can all agree a thing called E3 certainly happened. And there were more elephants involved than certain producers would have you believe, so I'ma call myself half right. Live that dream, Graham. Coming up, Nintendo announces Luigi's Mansion 2. Wait, really? <laughs> okay, good for Luigi. Mm. 